there's going to be a virus someday. A virus that will wipe out every living person on the planet. It'll start with the smokers. The accumulation of carcinogens combined with the deteriorating air quality will cause them all to drop dead. Then the asthmatics, trapped in their own households until the air seeps in through the ventilation, and they either die at home or die outside. Then one by one, everyone else, only those of us wise enough to stay inside, will live on after everyone else is gone. Until then, I'm stuck here. His wife Lynn saw stuck in my own little utopia. A walled off city meant to keep the filth out. Safe, clean, secure. And my husband's been attacked by a bear. Your husband's been attacked by a bear? Yeah, he's at the bottom of my driveway. Yeah, thanks, man. Yeah, yeah, no problem. I mean, as long as, long as you pay me. Yeah, you know I'm good for it. Uh, how much? Twenty-five. That sounds good. Okay. Uh, that should do it. All right, well, uh, that's all of it. Yeah. Um. So, where um where were you last night? I'm sorry. Last night my door opened. Uh huh. Did you lock it? Yeah. Weird. Yeah, uh, it wasn't you, was it? No, no, it wasn't me. <sighs> Come on, Leo, you're like the only person who knows where I live. Well, yeah, but I mean, look, you know I didn't do it. I mean, I know you don't like people and all that, but... I like people. I'm sorry? I, I like people, I just don't like going outside. Well, get a Facebook or something. Come on, Leo, fil computers are filthy. Well, I mean, if you're not gonna go outside, that's the only way you could meet someone. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, so listen, Harry, I gotta... Get going. How I, I, I've been. 
Excuse me? How you been? You know, how are you doing? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm fine, I guess. Yeah, I'm fine too, man. Okay. Yeah, so... Hey, listen, Harry, I got a lot of things to take care yeah. of, so uh -huh. I'm just going to go ahead and get going. Yeah, um, yeah okay. All right, have fun in there, man. Yeah, you too. Bye. Bye. His wife, Lynn, saw the attack and called 911. 911, what's the location of your emergency? I'm at the North Shore House, and my husband's been attacked by a man. I've been locked in this apartment for four years. Either I'm crazy, or I've made a friend. And if I have got a new friend, it's about time for a proper introduction. Leo? No. What do you want from me? Nothing. Who are you? That's a hell of a question, isn't it? Who am I? Who are you? I'm Harry. 
Yeah, Harry the man in the box. Scared shitless by the same organisms that make up his entire body. I'm not scared. Then open the door. Fuck you. So says the man in the box. I'm not just a man in a box. How many people know you exist? Leo knows I exist. Do you think that Leo tells anybody about you? Have you ever even seen Leo in person? Do you even know Leo is his real name? It doesn't matter. Well, if he doesn't matter, then why do I? Because I don't want you around here anymore. Well, here I am. I'm here whether you want me to be here or not. Why can't you just leave me alone? I'm not hurting you. I haven't done anything to you. I'm not hurting you either. I haven't stolen anything. I haven't broken anything. Harry, let me ask you a question. If there's a man in a box who nobody knows about and nobody has ever seen, can it even be said that he exists at all? I exist. I'm here talking to you, aren't I? But you don't matter. You're an anonymous shell, obsessed with your clean little world, scared by the one outside. Why? Because it's filthy. There's going to be a virus one day, an accumulation of all our greed and consumption and waste. Even if that was true, how would you know if the virus has already hit and passed? Because... Exactly. Come on out, Harry. It's safe. Where are we now? Utopia. Why? Does it matter? You're alive. <laughs>